a 54 to 1 domination on Stronghold and my first ever Black Ops 3 nuclear. So the PS4 beta ends today at 10 p.m. So it kind of sucks. This is it until the actual game comes out in November. Unless you're playing the beta on Xbox and I don't know if I'll have time to grind like I did on PS4. But I might get on for a little bit. But anyways, today I wanted to talk about the bad things in Black Ops 3 and the things that need to be patched or nerfed or changed. And I know it's the beta and it's not the full game. The whole point of the beta was to fix things. Treyarch has a lot of work to do before the game comes out. If you guys played today, the servers were awful. They were especially bad whenever they patched something and there was a terrible lag. And the frame rate just dropped and it was like I was playing on a potato. If you didn't already know, when you bring up the options menu when you're in game, it actually shows your ping in real time going up and down. And the game would spike up to 50 and then to 200, 300, 400, causing massive frame rate drops. But it's the beta and that problem is expected. It's good they did the beta because if that was a problem at launch, it would have probably been the worst launch for COD ever. When the game wasn't lagging, it was running very smooth. None of that free shit in menus like Advanced Warfare when you have to like wait a few seconds between everything. A lot of people won't like the idea of specialist which gives you the super weapon or abilities multiple times throughout a match the average player will get them maybe two three times a match depending on play style but good players especially with overclock perk that recharges the specialist faster will get them like four or five times and sometimes more each match they're balancing the specialist and they already nerfed war machine by taking two grenades away there's no universal super specialist there are plenty of good weapons and abilities and some are much better than others depending on situation it keeps the game fun because you look forward to getting your specialist and you could always try different ones out one match you can use the annihilator pistol next one you can use death machine from your arm and then you can use ruins gravity spikes to blow up an entire team on a flag the perks are actually really good in black ops 3 and it's gonna be a little hard to choose i played most of the beta without ghost or scavenger since they were locked due to the level cap i didn't have a token for tactical mask which would have been super useful to counter stuns and flash grenades and i didn't have dead silence the only perk i absolutely used on every single class is fast hands because it lets you aim faster after sprinting which I do a lot. And some people are worried about the fact that you can have a gun with six attachments. You can, but then you won't have any perks, lethals, tacticals, so it is balanced. You can put rapid fire on every gun, but it's not overpowered like it was on the last CODs. You know what is overpowered though? Black Hat. This is probably the worst thing in Black Ops 3 in my opinion. I have had so many people hack my right in UAVs. It's literally ridiculous and pisses me off so much. It shouldn't be so easy to hack something. I really hope they fix that and make it harder to hack rats. Wraiths. Wrath. I still don't know how to say it. I know it's actually Wraith, but I like saying Wrath better. It sounds like more menacing, like Wrath. The Wrath of the Wraith. I don't know. I like it better. Also, I just got a Mothership today. The highest streak in the game. 1,600 scores, and it allows your teammates to join in and shoot rockets from it and steal your kills. Sure, it's great from a team point of view, like, hell yeah, teamwork. Hell yeah, let's give noobs free chance to get kills, which is great from a business standpoint because more people will pick up the game and think they're good. You keep playing it, and it'll attract more new people to play Call of Duty. I feel like Black Ops 3 is very satisfying for pub stompers since you can loop streaks and streaks are good like they were in Black Ops 2, but it also gives noobs a chance to do good and get kills, especially with Specialist and Black Hat now. But that's really why so many people hate on COD and say it takes no skill. But in this game, in my opinion, it makes it easier than ever for noobs to do better, so it's kind of balanced out. Good players can still get streaks and high scoring gameplays while noobs can do better overall. Wall running makes maneuvering the map fun, and yes, the thrust jump can be used in gunfights, but it can't be spammed like in Advanced Warfare, and the game is just not that jumpy. Most of the time, combat is on the ground, unless you and an enemy are wall running towards each other, or you're wall running to surprise somebody, which works quite a bit because the game is new, but people will learn and you're just gonna be an easy target. Score streaks are OP again, something Ghost in Advanced Warfare messed up in my opinion. The streaks in those games weren't rewarding, or in Advanced Warfare's case, too hard to get, especially since you had to put attachments on all the streaks to make them good. People say Black Ops 3 is like Advanced Warfare. Bruh, did you even play the game? No, people who say this are just hating because it's a fad and cool thing to hate on COD. How dare others enjoy the game when you don't enjoy it anymore, or you're not good at it, or you don't like how you died because you should be 100-0 and no one should be allowed to kill you with anything. <laughs>
<laughs> People say it copied or ripped off Destiny. Yup, Von Nahar is an open fan of Destiny and loves it. And the specialists in Black Ops 3 are pretty much like the classes and supers from Destiny. This is a good thing. It keeps the game fresh and fun and new and not just like any other COD. It's pretty much a super COD for me. It's as fun as Black Ops 2. Streaks are rewarding. It has supers like Destiny. Black Ops 2 and Destiny are some of my favorite games ever. So putting them together and making Black Ops 3 was pretty awesome. And I do love Black Ops 3. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be uploading a ton more Black Ops 3 content. So be excited for that. So make sure you hit that like button in the face. Let's see if we can hit 5,000 likes on this video and subscribe to join the wolf pack. Oh, thanks for watching. Bye guys.